This is Jim from Eaton to show you how Eaton's Power Manager links with VMware's virtualization. We will show you that Intelligent Power Manager plugs into VMware's vCenter to manage the network power and will trigger vMotion to move virtual machines off of a server with a power problem. In the demo, we have vCenter, two ESXi hosts, an Eaton UPS, and an Eaton EPU. One of the ESXi servers is powered by the UPS, which is connected to an outlet on the EPDU. We demonstrate the installation of the IPM plugin into vCenter and cause a power disruption by turning off the receptacle that powers the Eaton UPS. The pending power problem triggers vMotion. Downloading and installing IPM is quick and easy. After it is installed and launched, clicking on Systems on the left of Use panel of IPM opens up a pop-up window that allows a user to set IPM to work within a virtualized environment. Then clicking on Virtualization opens a window that enables IPM as a plugin. Eaton's Intelligent Power Manager is now shown on vCenter when the tab called Intelligent Power Manager is selected. When you click on Tools at the top of vCenter Server, then Plugins, you can verify that IPM was correctly installed. Note that the ESXi servers are displayed on the same sheet as the power devices. Using the shutdown settings on the server, you can direct the server to shed loads during extended power disruptions. For each server, you can enable or disable placement of the server into maintenance mode. Once the maintenance mode is selected, you can set the timing for each server for when it goes into maintenance mode, then when the server actually powers down. With this important feature, you can stagger your server shutdowns to extend your battery one time. When you click at the link at the right side of the EPDU line, IPM will open up the control panel for the EPDU. Since the UPS powering the EXXI server is connected to Outlet 2 on the EPDU, we will turn the outlet off by selecting the Off button on the line for Outlet 2. IPM now shows a warning on the UPS because the battery is discharging and will show Outlet 2 of the EPDU is red. The next sequence shows each of the four virtual machines on ESXi Server 17 moving to the ESXi Server 16. You can see the movement of the virtual machines by the status shown at the bottom of the screen and the IP address of the virtual machine changes to the IP address of the new server. To learn more about Eaton software, click www.eaton.com virtualization.